Most important thing to remember about this question, it is number 22. It is the last question in the module. So even in the easy module, we know it's going to be hard. We know there's going to be some sort of trick to watch out for. So we are just turning this story into equations. There's no need to solve those equations. If you did that, you wasted your time. But we still need to make sure we make the right equations. So uh, let's just start with the first sentence, right? The combined original price for a mirror and a vase is $60, right? So M and V equals 60, right? Like my brain instantly goes there and I see that equation for all four choices. So they're not, they're not really making it about that, but at least it's getting us warmed up for um, thinking about this in the right way. After a 25% discount to the mirror and a 45% discount to the vase uh, are applied, the combined sales price of the two items is $39. So this is where a lot of people are going to go wrong. Um, there are a couple ways to go wrong. We have a uh, 25 to the mirror. So what we could be thinking about is, all right, let's be careful. This choice B is applying the 25 to the vase. This is applying the 25 to the mirror and then 45 to the vase here. So this is the one that's right. But actually, no, that is the, what we're doing there in choice D. This is the trap is this is finding the amount of the discount. But the way the equation is supposed to work is that the final price is $39. So for example, with the 25% um, the discount to the mirror, we are not interested in 25% of M. We are interested in 75%, right? Because what's going to happen is we need to take off the 25%. So this is, this is if we're using the open formula, uh, this is a um, uh, case where we would use the 1 plus or minus P formula. Right, so if we, we kind of apply that here, right, the original value of the original price is M, and then what are we doing? We're doing a discount, so we subtract, and that's going to give us the new price, the sale price of that mirror. So when we do that subtraction, we don't end up multiplying the M by 25 or 0.25, we end up multiplying by 0.75. So that's what we need to do in order to get this equation right. So that's actually going to get rid of B, get rid of D, and then really the only difference between A and C is again, putting the, the number on the right variable. So here we have the 75% on the M, and if we did the exact same thing to the V, we would take off 45%, leaving us with 55%. So choice C is the answer. In a way, there really is no math we need to do. Many of you are just going to be able to do this without kind of thinking about that open formula because you understand how these, these formulas work and how discounts work, but that is the trick. They are hoping that you are just like, ah, 25 and uh, uh, 45, right? And it's just the numbers in the story are the numbers in the equation. But like I said at the beginning, this is number 22. This is the last question in the module. It doesn't matter which module it is. We know there's going to be some sort of trickery there. So you got to be careful and you got to think it through. If anything, if an answer seems way too obvious, that might be a good indication that it's wrong on something like this. Earlier in the section, obvious is good. But as you get to the end, if it seems too good to be true, it might be. So just reread, be careful, think about potential traps, and try to save these points because if you can just see past that one percentage issue, this is still a relatively easy question compared to what we would see in like a hard module.